All right, guys, so I got a question today, and I've been asked this a bunch of times, so I thought I would just read you the question, and we would answer it right now in video format for you once and for all. Here we go. So this question was from Jennifer Ty. I think that's how you pronounce it. Looked about right. Her question was, and by the way, I want to show you guys this. Look at this. This is with my left hand. Look at that writing. I'm telling you. I mean, I don't like to brag, but... Uh, Nobody else is going to do it for me. <laughs> anyway, Jennifer says, Hello, I took cuttings from a blooming stem. She was talking about petunias. This is written on the petunia video. I took cuttings from a blooming stem. Does that mean there won't be any blooms? See, I can't read my left-handed writing. Well, Jennifer, I've gotten that question a ton lately, and I want to answer it once and for all right here. And the answer is yes, you absolutely will get more blooms if you take cuttings from a blooming stem. And here is why. This all has to do with genetics. And that is one of the most fascinating parts of plant propagation for me is the genetic side of it. The fact that you can perpetually constantly take cuttings and move them into the future and never lose those genetics. Every, every natural living organism on this planet is made with a genetic code. And that genetic code, that genetic structure, that gene is so tiny and minuscule and minute and it fits inside of a cell and it's made up of atoms and it's just so minute but that is what you're preserving when i take a cutting of a rhododendron this big plant here it's got the genetic code inside of it and when i take a cutting off of this it forms its own roots. That's the beauty of propagation. It forms its own roots, and that one cutting will become an exact, identical clone to the parent plant with all of the same genetic predispositions, all of the same aspects as the parent plant because it has all of the identical exact genetics and it's not done through sexual propagation as in seeds. This is asexual propagation and so when you take a cutting you get an exact clone with all the same genetics as the parent. You will get identical blooms on that plant. You will get all the same traits expressing themselves through those genetics. So yes, to answer that question, if you take a cutting from a flowering stem, you absolutely will get an identical clone. You will carry all those genetics forward into the rooted cutting and you will get all the blooms that you want from that plant. Now, it may not bloom immediately. It's got to put some roots on. It's got to get some size on. It's got to get some nutrients taken up into it. It's got to have time to form flower buds. And if all of that happens and you get too far into fall, the sun's going to change how the thing is growing. It's going to start going into dormancy. But if you continue to keep that plant alive through the winter, sometimes, you know, maybe like a rhododendron can be out and freeze hard as a rock through the winter and come back in the spring and bloom beautifully, just like its mom did. Some plants like petunias can't freeze like that and come back. So if you kept it indoors and you kept it going through the winter, the next spring, that petunia will bloom every bit as wonderfully as its mother did that you took the cutting from because it's got all the same genetics. I know I said a lot about that one question, but that's just how I do it because uh, that's how I do it, guys. So I hope you learned something from this. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.